Okay, where is your teammate? I'm gonna put you in time out. <laughs> So I am Dr. Margaret Elmer Dixon and I teach introductory calculus-based physics. My students are primarily engineers, biologists, chemists, and some physicists. So we're gonna use this slingshot to launch the water balloons. This is a team effort. I raided my basement last night and took all of my least favorite stuffed animals from my daughter. It's okay, we have a ton of stuffed animals. Oh, I hate this one especially. I like to make my uh, classes as hands-on as possible because I feel like sometimes students have a disconnect between the theory that they learn in class and the application they see in life. So today we are testing um, a quintessential physics problem which is called the hunter monkey problem. And effectively, if a hunter stands over here and he aims up into a monkey at a, in the top of a tree and the monkey lets go as the hunter fires his projectile, they should hit in midair. And this is really great because it demonstrates this connection between one dimensional motion, the monkey falling, and the two dimensional motion of the hunter shooting a projectile. So they learned about this theory in class. What I discovered teaching this class in the past was that they got the theory, but they didn't get the application. And so we're gonna try it and see how it goes. Last week they got to try projectile motion in one dimension and they predicted the um, uh, acceleration due to gravity in Duluth on the planetarium to be 9.73 meters per second squared, which is pretty close to what it actually is. So I feel pretty good. I think we're gonna work it out today and see what happens, but that'll be fun.